oil field and oil rig injury lawsuit. Many historical major oil and gas field accidents cause damages in the multiple billions of dollars. For example, the BP Deepwater Horizon 2010 settlement was over $20 billion. Even a smaller oil and gas field accident can cause great harm. One family got a settlement of $29 million for a wrongful death lawsuit in an offshore oil rig accident. For example, here are some of the types of severe injuries from oil and gas field accidents. Amputations. Blindness. Broken bones. Hearing loss. Neck and spine injuries. Permanent disfigurement. Post-traumatic stress disorder. Severe burns. And traumatic brain injury. For such severe cases, receiving the maximum compensation, financial settlement, or award is a critical factor. If death occurs, financial compensation supports surviving family members. For those who are injured, financial compensation supports them on the pathway toward recovery while regaining their quality of life. When a serious accident happens at any oil and gas field that causes injuries and perhaps deaths, there are two categories of harmed people to consider. These categories are employees and non-employees. A claim for damages is handled differently for people in each of these two groups. Injury and deaths of employees in an oil and gas field accident. Employees include anyone employed in the state where the accident occurs if they work for the oil and gas company or related companies. This also includes any employee of any other company who is engaged in a work-related activity. An example of an employee working for another company, not the oil and gas company, could be a delivery person making a delivery when the accident occurs. The distinction of being an employee is vitally important because, under the state's workers' compensation laws, the workers' compensation insurance, or a legally approved substitute, is the party that has the liability to pay a claim for an injury or death. Workers' compensation laws limit the ability of the injured party or their next of kin to sue a company for damages unless it can be proven that the oil and gas company was negligent in causing the accident. If you want to make a workers' compensation claim, you must act within the time allowed for reporting the claim. Additionally, you must file the paperwork properly. Engage the help of a workers' compensation attorney to assist with the claim process. This is advisable because there may be instances when a claim is denied for inappropriate reasons. The steps to pursue a claim are specific and must be accomplished on time. The paperwork must be filled out and filed correctly. Injury and deaths of non-employees in an oil and gas field accident. If you have been injured or a close relative has been killed due to an oil and gas field accident, and you are not an employee of any company involved in any work-related activities at the time of the accident, your claim is different. You have a liability claim against the oil and gas company and any insurance coverage that the company has in place. For this type of claim, you want to contact a personal injury attorney immediately. If your injuries are severe or the death of a loved one occurred, you must immediately call 877-776-9558. Call now before you talk with any insurance claims adjuster or anyone else about the accident before you agree to a settlement or sign a settlement agreement. Long-term effects of an oil and gas field accident. The negative impact of an oil and gas field accident may have a long-term effect. An example of this is multiple-year damage to the fishing industry sector in the Gulf of Mexico due to the BP oil rig Deepwater Horizon accident. The long-term loss impact may be severe and the financial damage is enormous. If you or a loved one is injured or dies in an oil and gas field accident or suffers some harm due to the long-term ill effects, contact a personal injury attorney for a free consultation by calling 877-776. 9558 or filling out the web form at www.claimyourcase.com.